there are certain vehicles on sale today that are affected by what I call Camry syndrome. Named after Toyota's ubiquitous family hauler, Camry syndrome affects a fair number of cars and trucks, many of which are exceedingly popular with consumers. The issue I have with these vehicles is that while they're adequate, they lack ambition. Their looks are clean and reasonably attractive, but they're not particularly stylish, let alone adventuresome or, heaven forbid, polarizing. Their interiors are comfortable and well screwed together, with the sort of popular features that consumers expect at a given price point. Their engines are decently powerful and vocal enough to set the heart very slightly a flutter, yet they're not too thirsty. Their transmissions are invisible and their rides are best described with whatever buzzword synonym Joe consumer might come up with for sporty or luxurious. In short, they're boring. In reality, provided they sell well, there's really nothing wrong with automakers building Camry syndrome vehicles, they're reasonably competent at everything and clearly meet a need. The problem is that I want some aspects of my vehicle to be better than others, because contrast breeds character. I wish someone that Acura felt the way I did when it redesigned the Sam DX for 2014, because for me, there's so much of this premium crossover that's merely middle of the road.